Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. So, yeah, I think this is the 52nd episode, and uh, let's get this launch underway. Yes, let's go. Um, yeah, so some of you guys might be wondering, what is that and how is that supposed to be a refueler? Well, anyways, let me get into that, and there's many of things I have to get into in this episode, because there are many things I have in my mind right now. Um, okay, so basically, after this decouple stage, you guys know the gist of this rocket. I've used this about a billion times now. Uh, after this decouple stage right here, right meow, uh, this is going to be a part of the jewel refuel er, wow jewel is on my mind tonight uh, yeah I don't know I might end up probably saying it a million times uh, yeah so this is going to be a part of the refueler around the moon the refueling base that I just launched uh, and what it's going to do is it's going to be a waypoint between the craft and the refueling station now there are docking ports set up for smaller craft to come in and dock but what this is going to be for is for like you know a bigger style ship where getting next to the um the the refueling station is going to be kind of an impossibility because of the fact of the sheer size of the ships that I have. Um, I do have a few new ideas though that are kind of looming. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure when I'm going to do them and there's a lot of things on my mind right now that I think I just stated. Uh, yeah, so let's get into this. <laughs> Once again, um, this is going to be a longer episode, might I add. Uh, this is going to be all the way to the moon and, you know, docking and all that other good stuff. It'll be my first dock today, so I might be a little rusty. It's, it's like every day is always a little bit different. So, yeah. Um, this is going to be probably the most important thing, if not definitely... I, I really do need something like this mostly uh, because of the size of the ship and the part count would probably be like in the thousands if I actually brought one of my ships next to the refueling station so <laughs> that would I, I think my computer would just die or catch on fire or something or both so yeah um, the I do have some good news uh, the jewel carrier I did a few minor uh, you know I just made a few minor like just kind of looked around at it and everything else you know kind of kicked the tires and all that good stuff and um, I, that thing is I think it's ready for interplanetary travel um, I do have a space station set up just for the purpose of you know, fitting in there, and it's going to be kind of a baseline, regular space station. Um, all of them are going to be just about the same, because of um, it, it has a specific limit on the size on it. So, you know, I can only fit a uh, pretty much that one design in there. I could change it around a little bit and throw some different parts around, but I would rather kind of stick with that one. And, uh, you know, if I do have to make some changes, that will be uh, later on. So, you know, and I'll, I'll probably do it mostly on my end compared to, you know, having a million changes on your end where you end up seeing 20 episodes of me failing at putting a space station inside this thing. But the idea I do have, because some of you might be wondering um, how I'm going to fit a space station inside of that, what I basically have set up is kind of a command pod style with a uh, with RCS control and what I'm going to do is the RCS is going to be basically the you know the ground point for it to move around and maneuver into the jewel carrier 
but I, I that's all just kind of theory now. You know, it's not really uh, tested. So we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, I might end up pulling every last hair out of my head trying to get this thing to work. But I'm really hoping that it does because our ability to have a space station set up um, around Duna and uh, Eve would drastically change how my gameplay is, at least for now. Uh, I have, um, I, I'm really thinking more of making it a space station of one of the moons more than making it a space station of Duna, mostly because Duna has the, uh, does not have the ability, I believe, to be mined. And, you know, I, like, that's one of my main reasons for all this. Silencial dog. Um, yes, I, I, I really feel that setting up around uh, Ike, I believe it is, which is the moon of Duna, uh, would be the better option, mostly because I want to be able to mine, and that's going to be my main mining spot, at least I hope. The, the main thing, oh, a little bit of lag there. The main thing I'm hoping for is mining is being added in the next update, and that's all speculation right now. So I don't even know what is going to be added up in the next update. Um, mining, I hope, is added. If it's not, that's going to um, not make me a very happy camper. Doggy, I said silencial. Don't you understand what that means? Understand me, doggy. Understand me. Please look into my eyes. Yes, um, <laughs> oh, um, now I, w I had another idea just kind of float across my mind while I was at work and, uh, you know, just kind of sitting around and I was like, well, you know, that would be kind of a cool thing to have, even though it really, the practicality of it isn't very high because of, um, I can't implement it to do many things. I mean, I could use it to move space stations around, but it would be just kind of silly. Um, a smaller style ship, in a sense, um, if you guys can get my drift, it will be an interplanetary ship, ship, but the difference is it's going to be all ion powered. But the main problem with that is that I would not end up leaving, um, I wouldn't end up going past Kerbal Orbit. I would be going inward towards, um, the other planets. So, like Moho and, you know, all those other ones. And the main kind of, the, the best part about it is, is that solar panels produce more power when you're closer to the sun than when you're further away. If you guys have noticed in my other episodes when I was talking about it, um, you know, the solar panels uh, efficiency out by, um, what is it, ELU? Uh, yeah, by ELU. Um, oh my god. What am I doing? I, I should have been burning already. <laughs> Getting too carried away talking. Oh, now it's going to spaz out. Yeah, just fix that. There we go. Yeah. So hopefully I didn't just completely destroy my moon and burn, but... Um, oh yeah, so but anyways, back to the efficiencies. Um, the efficiency of solar panels around uh, Idlu, um, even if you're getting 100% sun exposure, you're only going to be producing like maybe 6 or 7 units of power, and that's on the big panel. The thermal gens don't change, but the thermal gens are impractical to use because the amount you would need to power 16 ion engines, let's say, you would need, um, you know, that's basically 12 per engine. So if you have, you're going to need over probably 150 of them, 200, just to power 12 engines, or 16 engines, I should say. Um, so that would be completely wiped off the map right there, just just the idea of it. So, uh, solar panels are the only good way. But if you get closer to the sun, that one panel produces twice the amount of power, or if not, like, three times the amount of power. The good side on that is, the, well, maybe not twice, actually, 
maybe twice, maybe one quarter more than what it normally produces, which is 18, I believe. Uh, so I could basically have like a huge solar panel set up and use that to get me wherever in the solar system, at least closer to the sun. And that would be very practical to use. I could even use it to possibly move a space station out, but I, once again, the being practical about it, uh, that would just take forever. And I probably wouldn't like it. Um, you know, I was thinking more of a smaller style ship, but you know, like maybe the ability to carry two Kerbals, um, not 100% sure on how it would work or anything like that, but I do have an idea of a smaller style interplanetary ship that isn't going to take up like, you know, freaking 500 parts like my other two ships, so I'm kind of hoping that this does you know it works out the way I want it to because that that would just be amazing um, the you know the ability to be able to use that and to basically have a power um, a ship that doesn't use any power what uh, well any real fuel whatsoever yeah I mean, the amount of area it could cover is just amazing like just tons of area just hopefully um, that was one of the one of my other ideas. Now I was going to get focus more on you viewers. Um, if you guys want to see me do anything other than like you know the basic tutorials that I've already covered. Oh look at that! That's amazing. Um, I think it's at 150 something. The uh, whatever it is. The uh, yeah, uh, great idea. Um, no, the uh, fueling depot. I believe it's at like 155. I'm not 100% on that one. And once again, I'm probably going to kill myself using the time warp feature. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I, I was going to say, other than my tutorials that I've already covered, and you know, with you know, or basic orbiting, orbital maneuvering, rendezvous, docking, and um, getting to the moon. Is there anything you guys would like to see me do? Is there anything um, in particular, like a very hard thing or something you just find ultra challenging? I could possibly do a video about that. I Like even docking, I'm considering revisiting and trying to explain it a lot more in depth. Um, you know, because some people use the what is it the docking whatever that thing is I don't I don't even use it because it's to me it's like worthless not to mention when I start using it my it's like everything I just learned about docking doesn't work anymore so <laughs> um, if there's anything you guys want to know I could definitely show you that's you know the main point of me doing these videos um, you know, other than getting, like, personal satisfaction out of doing these videos, because, um, I feel really good about myself about doing this, this kind of, um, you know, these play, the let's plays, or whatever you want to call them, I don't really call them let's plays, um, you know, other than me getting the personal satisfaction out of doing these, and making myself feel better, and, you know, um, you know, I, I really appreciate every comment I get, and I always try to respond back to your comments. And if you have any questions, I always try to respond back. Um, you know, there's a few people that have messaged me over the the time I've been doing this, and you know, said like, "Oh, you're either doing amazing at this, or uh, what was another one I got? Somebody messaged me because they couldn't." you know, take off, or they couldn't do something, they couldn't get one of my designs to work, because they, you know, based one of their, um, launches off of one of my designs, and they were trying to figure out what was wrong with it, so, helping somebody is always, like, one of, it's like second nature to me, I, I, I love helping anybody who has any problems, so definitely come, I'm not gonna say message me at all times of the day, I am willing to, um, you know, go 
a little bit extra to try to help you, but, um, you know, if you can't help yourself, then I can't really help you, and I don't mean that in a bad way, what I mean more so is that if you are so, if you can't really figure it out at all, even with me telling you, then I don't really think there's anything for me to say to you that will make that, uh, you know, a make you understand better, I guess, if I want to, you know, if I could say something like that, um, it, it's just, this game is complicated, and, um, especially for somebody who's new, and I always like helping people that are new, and, uh, you know, if you guys want to see a tutorial to get the min miss, just, you know, let me know, hey, though some of these things, I'll do, I'll do videos for you guys if you guys want to request a video, um, Nothing too crazy, but I will do it. But anyways, I have set up my... Uh, I've gotten to the moon, gotten into orbit, and set up my uh, node here. Um, you know, I think I don't even think I'm going to mess with the descending and ascending nodes right now, because it. I, I have pretty much a setup intersect that works, so there's no real point in f changing any of that. So, let's get to this burn. It's not going to be too long. Only 22.6 meters per second added. So, it's not a crazy, crazy burn. I'll just do it right now. And um, I'll show you a few little tricks on the ascending and descending node. So, once you set it up, like you can see I've overshot it a little bit. Um, what you can do, see I already passed, so it comes back. Uh, Alright, so turn on RCS and then use your RCS fuel if you overshoot and your RCS will help line it up a lot better. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I'm okay with that. that. That's perfect. Now, once again, I did not change my ascending and descending nodes with the two objects, so it's off by, you know, almost one degree. So, that's one thing you have to consider. So, I'm not going to be... Why is this changing all by itself? That, that is... Silly. That shouldn't change all by itself. There's some kind of error or bug. That's gotta be some kind of a bug. So, um... Yeah, um... I, I did not change my ascending or descending nodes. So... You guys might be a little bit clueless on how to do that, but, you know, it's basic when you set up a node. Here, let me let me just set up a node real quick. To change your ascending and descending node is these purple ones. And you want it to be 0, 0. That's going to be your main concern. And then one thing you will see, and I think it has something to do with your... I, I, well, it obviously does, but... Um, you know, with your orbit going out a little bit further, so because you're trying to meet up with the spacecraft, um, I think this speed is relative to how much speed you put into um, changing your orbit in order to meet up with this. So, I, you know, I, I'm not 100% sure on this. I'm not like a science, you know, I don't really know much about science and math involved in this game. Uh, you know, other than basic principles and, you know, things like that, but I, I don't know a crazy amount about this game, so don't get any too ultra-technical questions. But one thing I do have good news for you is I have been working on Delta V without tears um, very intensively. Um, there's a lot to it already. And uh, the only thing I really have to add is a parts list. And I have to add a parts list in the weights. And it will be basically almost done at that point. Um, if some of you guys who know a lot more about Delta V want to throw in your input or, you know, state that I have, in fact, done something wrong, I would be very much appreciative of you telling me any of these things because uh, once again like I said I'm not a hundred percent like awesome with math so I don't know if all the formulas come out to be exactly perfect 
So let's get this thing docked up already. Hopefully this payload is stable too. That I haven't really tested that. Um, it wouldn't let me symmetrically place the um, RCS ports, so I tried to do it the best I could. And uh, yeah, so it's probably like super screwed up. All right, now let's. Um, oh no, it's actually really good. So let's get this thing. I usually like to stop right before my whatever it is I'm trying to get to and just kind of cancel out all motions that I have, all the forces acting upon my ship. So, okay, yep, yeah, slow down, stop. Okay, yeah, not working. All right, go left, go left. And down, down a little bit. And uh, I'll do another burn towards this ship. Well, the fuel depot, and uh, that will be my. All right, whatever. This is good enough for me. I'm getting impatient. Can't it can't be doing that for ten minutes. So let's line towards this target, and uh, I don't want to burn any fuel. Then I have to to get there. But actually, you know what? I think that would be a better option right now. So let's get rid of this while we're here. Put this um, in. Now, I kind of didn't like the fact that I used all these smaller tanks, but it allowed me to pack up a large amount of fuel in a small space so that's kind of the main reasoning behind using this now I'm gonna get really close and I think I'm gonna dock at one of the branches of the you know of the uh, fueler and I think we'll go from there I think that would be a better option for me so I'm going to get rid of this last stage And yes, I have a really small engine on here. I think I explained that I don't need that huge engine. And this thing is not stable. Turn on RCS. And I think I'm going to just transfer out half of the fuel. To try to stabilize this thing a little bit better. I think it has to do with that. And I'll use the RCS controls to just kind of fix my approach a little bit. It's not that bad. So I think it should be somewhat better now. Yes, use RCS controls. This thing has really awesome maneuverability, I should say, too. That kind of the best part about it all right so yeah how much RCS do I have even oh, okay good I'm I didn't even use like I used a little over a hundred it's not bad turn that off and I'll start burning retrograde right now just because I kind of screwed it up and uh, yeah, it, it's just kind of rocking around a little bit because of the fuel that I have extra in here, which kind of sucks that I can't eat, I can't transfer out any of the fuel to, in order to make it somewhat stable. I guess what I could do is go to like the quarter of the way point. Alright, that has fuel. Alright, yeah, okay. Put some in here. And uh, let's see, where's the other bit of fuel? Nope, not in there, not in there. I could put some right up here. I think this might fix it a little bit. Once again, working with uh, 
unstable payloads suck. So let me get towards the retrograde here since we are kind of floating away from our target. I want to be over I want to be going towards our target. And I'll turn on bring it use RCS to push it up. So we're heading towards our target now. There we go. Fix things. But you everyone's like, "Oh my god, you're such a noob at docking already." All right, flip around just so we don't smash into this thing. I've already almost had so many close encounters with docking where, like, I've almost smashed into, like, whatever object I'm trying to get to. And, wow, th this RCS is, like, very violent. Violent RCS, not a good thing. So, I think I'll speed up time just to save you guys a little bit of time on the video length because I know it's probably getting a little long right now. I don't recommend if you have never really docked up um, to speed up time ever while you're trying to dock. It's kind of not a good idea, but it works for me. So let's get this thing plugged in. All right. All right, stop moving. I know it's because I'm applying force, but quiet you. All right. Perfect. All right. Bring this down over here. And yeah, this is going to be interesting. This thing is very nimbly bimbly, I do say. Uh, okay, we're going to dock it right here. And we're going to use RCS from this point on. Actually, I'll use it to push myself a little bit forward and go up. We need to go up. RCS? Up? Okay, yeah, that's not up. Chase cam! So yeah, um, you know, doing these dockings too, I kind of feel like I'm showing you a little bit. Actually, I'll dock on this one. It'll be easier. Um, I feel like I'm kind of showing you guys how to dock, which makes me feel better about myself that, you know, I'm actually teaching you something in an episode. Whereas, you know, uh, instead of me just being like, this is my cool stuff, check it out. So it's always a good thing to me always a great thing teaching you guys stuff is kind of the main reason why I love doing these episodes more than anything helping you guys out all right where are we going to end up somewhere over here is very good and see if we can kind of cancel out that motion okay I want to stop floating towards the object. All right. Well, wow. not centered. All right, center up a little bit better. No, oh my God, acting like a noob. All right. I think this is good. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. No, I'll back off a little bit because I am a little bit too close for my liking. And I'll, I need to go down and over. Not over that much. But I need to go up. So, or I mean, I should say down. No, but yeah, I'm thinking about, you know, I, I'm loving Sim doing this SimCity playthroughs. So, you know, if you guys want to see more of that, you know, just definitely let me know in the comments. I always love comments because comments mean I can tell you more about what's going on. And, you know, if you have any questions about it, I can always tell you more. So, 
if you don't ask me questions, I can't give you any answers. And especially if you guys don't like what I'm doing, you know, if you are upset because I haven't done an episode on Moonbase Minmus or, uh, wow, I am being a complete noob right now. You know, if you guys want to see more of, like, Minmus Base, the Minmus Base Alpha or something like that, I can always do another video of that if you're interested in seeing that. So, wow, I am being a complete noob right now with docking. I don't know what's wrong with me right now. I'll set this one as target since we're getting closer to this one. I don't know what's going on. All right. All right, yeah, now it's game time. I guess I gotta put on my game face when I'm docking now. So, yeah, if you guys are definitely interested in that stuff, like, I can always show you more. Or, you know, exploration or anything like that. Like, if you wanna see me go someplace different or do something different, like, I don't mind doing that. And why am I... Okay, I feel like I'm being such a noob right now. I, I think it's mostly because I'm not really paying attention as much as I should. Alright, we need to go that way. And I'm getting so far away. What is going on with my docking today? Alright. All right, this looks like it should be the right way. I don't know what's going on with me today, but please do give me a break. All right, now I need to get this more centered. All right, nope, 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 I'm going too far that way. I'll go nope nope that will bring me down go up up there you know it was like my last episode when I did that docking I'm like yep just go right on in all right I'm gonna go forward a little bit more get closer to this docking port That way, that way, okay, now I'm getting really close. You can always tell when you're getting really close with the nav ball because then it just starts spazzing out every way. Turn this off, and that off. And... Yeah! Oh. So this is one of many things I will end up docking here. What I plan on doing, too, is I want to maybe build a reusable lander and possibly put it here. And, uh, yeah, that's probably going to be most of. I think it was just because this thing was so unbalanced, which I'm going to get all the fuel out of this thing, like, right now. Because it's basically, oh, my God, nope, 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 nope. Um, I think it was just mostly because it was unbalanced, and I tried to do a little bit of a balancing to it, but didn't work. Now, I'm probably going to end up adding another couple orange tanks here, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Not sure when I'm going to be doing that, but eventually. And this thing is actually starting to spin because of this. Wow. So get all this fuel in how many of these tanks have fuel in them all of them okay all right that looks good i just need to remember now that i have to fill up all of these so um yeah put all that in there perfect so let's I don't know what's going on with the SAS, but something's something's not right. 
But yeah, once again, like I said, I'm probably going to put another... Uh, I'm going to be putting more orange tanks here. And I think I'm going to put SAS in the middle. And uh, that will be the end of putting fuel on this thing. And on this side, um, one thing I kind of had in mind is that... Um, when they do add the refueling, all that stuff, and the miners, and all that, um, I could use these open ports, and I could put a refinery station on here or something. This could be go from a regular refueling station to a refinery. Just because of the amount of fuel that this thing will be holding, it will be pretty awesome to have something like this. And maybe get one of these around Minmus as well. So... But yeah, anyways guys, thank you for watching. Sorry for such a long episode for some of you. If some of you like these longer episodes, I don't mind doing them. But, you know, I, I just, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, if you haven't already checked out my Facebook and my Twitter, definitely check those out. I always post my updates for my videos um, to the newcomers. Um, that's geared more towards the newcomers, I should say. And to the newcomers, welcome and uh, yeah. You know, subscribe and all that cool stuff, because there's always more to come. More and more. Well, anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.